Hey guys, today we are at the beautiful campus of McGill. So today I'm going to be asking my friends different questions related to how they got into medical school and dental school at McGill University. So let's start. First off, what is your name? I'm Ken. I'm Raisa. Karen. Damian. Mika. Hi, my name is Sophie. Hi, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Munzer. Hi, I'm Amanda. My name is Jingjing. And my name is Judy. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm Ashley. My name is Jimin. My name is Sabi. My name is Rachel. Where are you guys from? I'm from Toronto, but I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm born and raised in Montreal. I'm from here, Montreal. I'm from uh, Colombia. I'm from Mexico. <laughs> I'm from Montreal, too. I'm from Gatineau. I'm from Damascus, Syria, and I moved to Montreal about five years ago. I'm from Vaudreuil. So I'm from the GTA. The GTA. I'm from Toronto. I'm from Haiti. Vancouver, BC. Uh, I was born in South Korea and I, oh, and I grew up here in Montreal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I was born in Canada and I grew up in Mississauga. I was born in Canada and I grew up in Ontario. Where did you guys do your undergrad or your whole educational background? I did two uh, undergrads, both at McGill. The first one is a Bachelor of Science and Honors Physiology, and the second one, a Bachelor of Arts, um, majored in Psychology and minored in Educational Psychology. So I did my Bachelor's of Science here at McGill in Kinesiology with a concentration in Anatomy, and I did my Master's in Science right away in Physiotherapy also at McGill. I have a background in nursing, and I did um, five years of work basically mm. in nursing in the operating room and yeah yeah so i only did um enriched health science in dawson college i did health science at marinopolis went to marinopolis college and i'm at mcgill now uh i'm from Bebeth and i'm at mcgill uh, i did my sejep at heritage and now i'm at uh, mcgill i did my sejep at uh, college de bois de boulogne and now i'm at mcgill I did my stage up at Marianopolis and now I'm at McGill. I went to Western and I did a Bachelor's of Medical Science. I also went to Western and I did an honor specialization in Physiology and Pharmacology. I did my undergrad in Biology and I did my Master's in Public Health. Nice. Uh, so I have two undergrads. The first one is Science, so major in Physiology and minor in Math. And my second one is in Education, so Secondary Science. I did a um, undergrad in honor psychology at McGill University and I have a master's degree in neuroscience from McGill University as well. I did my undergrad at health sciences at McMaster University. Um, <laughs> I did my first undergrad um, as a bachelor of science in biological science at the University of Guelph and then I did a master of science in parasitology at the University of Guelph and then I did a, another undergrad in applied science, also at the University of Guelph. Did you guys get an acceptance in med, dent, or both? Both. <laughs> both med and dent. So both. Just dent. Dent. Dent P. Dent P. Med P. I only apply to dent. Dentistry. Dent. Dentistry. <laughs> both. Dent. Dent. And so if you guys are willing to share a bit your GPAs. Yeah, so my, for my first degree, uh, which is a Bachelor of Science, I had a 3.77. And then for a Bachelor of Arts, I had a 3.98 out of 4. I had... 3.97 on a 4.0. Uh, I believe it was a 3.19. Wow. Yeah, hope is there. <laughs> uh, 38.5 R score. 36 point something. My R score is 38. <laughs> <laughs> My R score was 36.4. My R score was 34.9. Mine was 35.8. Mine was 37.6. So my GPA was a 3.94. Mine was a 3.97. My McGill GPA, if I remember correctly, I think it was a 3.78 or something like that. Um, I, my second GPA is 3.93 or 2. And my first GPA was actually 3.0. So McGill, <laughs> thankfully, only looked at my second one. I have a 3.92 over 4. Mm -hmm. I think I also had a 3.9, but when I converted it for McGill, it went up to 4.0. Yeah, I had a, a 4.0 based on the McGill conversion. So now let's talk about the EC, so the extracurriculars. Yep, so in terms of work experience, uh, I worked as a cook uh, at my local uh, family restaurant. I worked as an administrative assistant for a few years. Um, I also TA'd many classes during my undergraduate career from physiology, um, chemistry, etc. I also was a tutor for various subjects, so I tutored uh, math, I tutored English. Um, I also volunteered at a hospital hospital where I interact with the patients, um, so that's a little bit of clinical experience there. Um, I also shadowed both uh, doctors, uh, physicians, and dentists, 
and just so I get more experience of um, the healthcare profession. Yeah, I also included some hobbies, so I included woodworking, uh, which is my favorite, and also wood, um, rock climbing, which I love. A big thing about my application is I included um, uh, being a trumpeter, so I was part of a wind symphony for five years and that was really fun. Yes, yeah, so as for me, since I just finished my master's in the fall, I've had my license to practice physio ever since November 1st. Um, so going into work experience, I worked in orthopedics like private clinic ever since November 1st. And I was also doing occasional weekends at the Glen Hospital. And then other work experience involved a lot of anatomy TA positions for several health professional students. That was ever since undergrad and through my master's. And then as for volunteering, I volunteered at the hospital as well in ER and part of the ICU bridge program that allowed me to shadow doctors in ICU. And I also volunteered with Sakina Homes and Sister Sabria Foundation, which is a non-for-profit organization, um, making food to homeless individuals as well as distributing it to lots of families that are in need. And I contributed more so during like the Ra Ramadan season of a few years. As well for hobbies, yes, I included kickboxing, um, rock climbing, and baking, just to show a little bit about who I am outside of the whole academic aspect. Yeah, so I think my extracurriculars probably compensated for my low uh, GPA. So mm -hmm. um, I've been, I was in the army for like eight years wow. uh, prior to dentistry, and I did like many, many years of uh, volunteer work as a first responder, first response uh, uh, instructor too at St. Mm -hmm. John Ambulance and a bunch of other states. Uh, a lot of the volunteering I did was at, at Dawson or just not necessarily volunteering but extracurriculars so mm. I wanted to do a lot of clubs uh, and it turns out that they didn't have a, cl uh, a chess club at Dawson so uh, we, we started a chess club and did that. We also did some other volunteering for, for the college and even for you know, helping out the homeless people in the area of Atwater and just doing like things that interested me like on the side too. I think that as long as you like it, it's, it's pretty chill. So I did a lot of shadowing of different dentists for during summers and a little bit during the year. And at my CJEP, I worked as a, t as, a, as a teaching assistant. So I graded labs, I was a peer tutor. And I also did some volunteering every weekend for a couple of years. Um, so I volunteered at the uh, Ottawa Race Weekend as well as the Army Run, which are basically like runs and they need um, medical volunteers. Mm -hmm. So you're just at the finish line and you help like wheelchair and first aid if you have that experience as well. And I also played hockey. Personally, on my end, I didn't really do much volunteer work. So most of my extracurriculars were like just jobs, what you would mm. say. And they weren't really like related to healthcare either. I did, uh, I worked at a restaurant for a couple of years and then also at a call center. So it was just all over the place. For my extracurriculars, they were kind of all over the place as well. Uh, I worked at summer camp for like four years, five years. Um, I also worked as a coach for a soccer team. And then in school, I was uh, the president of our model UN club, yeah. And uh, I was also the uh, vice president of finance of our student union at Mary Nobles. During undergrad, I was involved in a couple clubs throughout the year, and I was also uh, part of the varsity fencing team mm. and the website administrator for the fencing team. And I was also a marketing assistant for Western wow. and uh, medical administrator for a walk-in clinic. Yeah, I think my GPA carried me to get an interview. My ECs are a little lacking, mm. or just average, I would say. Um, so I did mostly like a lot of volunteering at my local hospital. I also did uh, some clinical research at the hospital. Um, I guess because I was applying to dent, I also did some dental-related uh, ECs. So for example, shadowing. I also took this course online. Um, I think it's offered by University of Michigan. Uh, I think it's like a intro to dentistry course and it was more for me I would say to like get a taste of what dentistry is like um, but it, I think it also helped me with my application as well. So I volunteered in different places um, like hospital clinics and you know anything that I was really interested in I kind of went for it. Um, mostly I did on-campus things so I volunteered with MCERT which is the McGill Student Emergency Response Team and some other clubs um, because I'm poor, I also had more part-time jobs <laughs> and volunteering opportunities towards the end. 
because of my um, background in in psycho honors psychology, I have some experience in research. So I have uh, I did my honors thesis during undergrad. Then I worked as a research assistant for a year, and then I went to grad school. So I had I have some publications. Um, and then for volunteering, I volunteered at Suicidation Montréal, so working with pati uh, suicidal patients, and I also volunteered at cancer clinic. And then I put um, on my CV, I just put like some activities, like working in the student association and hobbies. <laughs> I put some sports. So I, I put swimming. Um, I'm not a good. I, I'm okay, but like <laughs> not the best. But still, I just put it because I love it. For starters, I guess earlier I volunteered at some hospitals because I was considering medicine, so I wanted to see what the environment was like. Um, and then in my final year, I volunteered or kind of worked as a fundraising on the fundraising committee of McMaster's Red Cross team, where we just organized events to raise money and I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I also really liked theater so we kind of um, did small roles in plays for fun and I really like playing volleyball so we did intramural team again like not serious or competitive but just for fun I think it really shows a uh, well-rounded applicant just to yes. show all your interests um, and then for work experience I worked as a TA for again like a, a, a kind of applied theater course because again I really liked theater and I also worked for a year as a floater at a dental office. For mine, I worked with um, the Alzheimer's Society of Ontario. I also um, volunteered with the Women in Crisis Hotline, and uh, I did the Eating Disorder Mealtime Supervision Program uh, at one of the hospitals where I'm from. And uh, then for a few years, uh, I was a research assistant, a research technician on and off while I was um, a student and then during the summers and it became my full-time job uh, while I was in between school and coming here. I also um, did some Let's Talk Science. It's uh, basically a science program where you go and teach um, elementary school, high school children uh, science. And then um, I also did downhill skiing, so mm -hmm. I added that as my uh, competitive aspect mm -hmm. to my hobbies. Honestly, I didn't do that many <laughs> extracurricular activities, um, to be fair, because I was really busy for secondary and high, uh, well, sec high school and secondary, and also CJEP. Um, I did a little bit of volunteering at Montreux Chinese Hospital, but other than that, um, during my CJEP second year, I had a research project for my honors, uh, basically my honors degree. I actually did a lot of extracurriculars in Sasha, um, but not really related to like healthcare, I guess. It was more about like things that I was curious about, like theater, entrepreneurship, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I guess that helped me like kind of stand out and like have an interest in anything else. That's good. So you you jumped the gun a bit because I wanted to say what made you, well, what do you think made you stand out? So I guess for you it was like, yeah, the it was more that than the arts. Uh, I think it's more the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think uh, the biggest factor was that my CV wasn't a typical like cut like cookie cutter pre-med or pre-dense CV. It had a lot of like focus on music and it was really well-rounded in terms of hobbies. And what really helped me during the process was, uh, I forgot to mention this in the extracurricular section, but I, I did volunteer with Kids Health Phone. So there I learned a lot of like soft skills, like crisis management, um, dealing with like really difficult, high stress situations. So I think having that experience helped me with the interviews. I believe for me was having a health professional degree as a physiotherapist and being licensed in practicing. As well within physiotherapy, I made sure my clinical rotations for stage were well-rounded. Even though I wanted to specialize in orthopedics as a physio, I also did stages at the Montreal Chest Institute um, where I subspecialized for like cardio rest based patients. And then I did a stage, my last one was at the Douglas Mental Health Institute um, since I did want to get more experience in the side of mental health. And then the other aspect would be my several anatomy TA positions. Probably my work experience and past experiences. Mm. Yeah. So like army stuff and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. A lot a lot of extracurriculars. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest, but I think that part of it was definitely luck. Um, we didn't have um, MMIs in our year, so we only had to do the Casper. I suppose that whatever we wrote for the Casper, we, we did fairly well. And I think that in general, also having some good extracurriculars, putting the time into, you know, doing my CV and also having a little bit of cushion with the R score, I think that, mm. that helped me a, a little bit. I think probably my shadowing, because I had a bunch of different dentists, different mm. specialties as my verifiers, so, and 
consistent community service, all my extracurriculars, I think. Uh, I think the personal statement for me was a big thing, but it's removed now, so mm -hmm. might not be so relevant for you. And also, uh, I volunteered at the McGill Outreach Clinic during the summer. On my end, I guess that it would be similar in that you know, there are different ways that you can demonstrate your strength. So your CV is a big one because you have the chance to like speak on what sort of impact your experience has had on you. So that's definitely a big one. Otherwise, you know, like your interviews, your um, your like Casper test and all of that stuff, it all like gives the interviewers a clue onto who you are as a person. And that's always a big part of practicing, be it medicine or dentistry. So focus on that. I think I would agree as well. You know, the grades is something that people put so much inf you know, influence on. And initially, yes, it is a big part of your application, but there's a lot of students with very good grades. So a way to kind of you know, separate yourself from the crowd very much is to perform well in the Casper, to do things that you enjoy, build your CV, build yourself as a person in a professional sense as well. I think one thing a lot of professional schools emphasize is being really well-rounded. Mm. So because I kind of involved myself in a lot of different disciplines, I think I was able to get a lot of unique skills and lessons from it that I could write on my CV or talk about in my interview. My GPA. <laughs> <laughs> I think, to be honest, yes. Uh, I think it definitely helped, mm -hmm. and, or at very least, it like balanced out my right. slightly lacking EC. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, maybe like dental related work, because uh, I know a lot of people also apply to med, yeah, and so yeah. like their CV would be more catered towards med. True, true. So maybe that helped as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, you're just that good. That's why. I think yes. I think it's important to well before the interview. I think it's important to um, showcase your diversity or different interests that you think people may not um, have in their CV. For example, for me, um, I was inter interested in sign language, so I took a class in sign language. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of volunteering when it comes to that. And I know a lot of people don't have that experience, so this might have been something. And also, like you know, I included like things that people would not have normally included, like dance and stuff like that. Similarly, like I play volleyball, so I try to talk more outside of academic scope. Mm -hmm. I also, I believe, apply through the is it exceptional circumstances? Ex extenuating extenuating yeah. circumstances. Yeah. So I grew up in a single parent home. I also struggled a lot with my mental health during my undergrad. So I believe one or two pages of explanation probably helped to explain my situation. So I feel like I kind of have a different path than a lot of other people, even like my two friends here. Three friends. I'm not her friend. Just a YouTuber. He doesn't really count. He's the YouTuber. He's YouTuber. <laughs> I have like a different path. So I did, because I did so much schooling, I feel like there was a lot of opportunity that I had to kind of like grow as a, as a person and just get life experience as well as kind of understanding um, different aspects of school. And so going from being in undergrad um, to doing a master's and then doing another undergrad, I just feel like I was in a different place. And so um, the things that I was able to, I guess, include in my application were different based on my age and uh, life experience. So I think that's kind of something that would make me stand out as well as all the research that I was able to do because um, I was uh, in school longer and then also I guess out of school for a little bit longer. Yeah, that's a good point because I also, I think what made me stand out is because I worked at a dental office, I think, and I was only able to do that because I took a year off after graduating and that gave me the time to explore that path and like put time into it. Uh, same as well. I also have a master's degree and I remember after undergrad, I took a gap year when I were, was working as a research assistant and kind of I, I went through my CV and wanted thought about like okay what are the missing components like what are the things I want to work on during my gap year I was also thinking about like what am I genuinely interested in because that's where your story comes from and that's what you're passionate about right you don't want to volunteer for something that you're doing just for CV so I took a lot of time to reflect on what I want what I what I want to do in future and I think with different life experiences as well that doesn't involve academia, just like patient extraction or like fan, with fans, like anything basically, it really changes you and makes up your identity. So I think I took a lot of time to reflect on like who I, who I am and how I wanna be portrayed like to the school, um, to the faculty. Last question, any advice for the pre-dance, pre-meds out there who are <coughs> applying in the, in the future cycles? 